ClearCut's integrated scanning makes it extremely easy for sysadmins to enable users to be able to scan their files to a number of destinations, including email accounts, home folders, a network share, or even a user's personal cloud storage. I'm going to show you in this video how easy it is for an admin to set up these scan actions. To do so, you simply need to log into the PaperCut server as an administrator, click on the Devices link, and navigating to the Scan Actions list, you can see we've already got a list of pre-configured scan actions that we created before recording this video. Let's take a look at the Scan to Timesheets example, and you'll see that we've configured a scan action to save the job to a particular file share on the server. Any user that clicks on the scan action is going to have their document automatically uploaded to the share, and we've also included the scan metadata as an XML file. This can be extremely useful if PaperCut is working together with a third-party document management system to intelligently route the files. You'll also note that what we've done with the scan changed the default output settings. We want it to use the lowest DPI setting possible and the color mode in black and white to keep the scan file size down. We also unchecked the user can edit button to prevent the user from modifying the scan action. You'll see in the access tab that we've made this action available to the staff group. We could have made this action available to all users, but we decided that only the staff group should be able to see this action to keep things simple. Of course, we can also configure other scan actions, such as scanning the document to an email address or user's home folder. And, most recently, we can set up a scan action that will automatically upload the file to a user's personal cloud storage account. When we set up the first scan to cloud action, we're prompted to activate the service, which registers the PaperCut server with our scan to cloud storage connector, enabling users to scan to any cloud storage provider in the list that an administrator has configured an action for. And that's how easy it is to create a scan action. Please don't hesitate to let us know if you have any questions by leaving a comment below.